हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश क्लास हैव यू बीन ऑल राइट ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू लेसन टाइटल दैस द एशेस दैट मेड ट्रीज ब्लूम सो दिस इज द टाइटल ऑफ द स्टोरी आई रिपीट द एशेस दैट मेड ट्रीज ब्लूम This is the title of the story. Today we are going to discuss. So today I am going to give you a short sum up of the story. So are you ready? All right. Basically, this lesson tells us about the love of a family, love of a dog, pet dog, and this is a Japanese story. Okay. So once upon a time, there lived a Japanese couple in a village with their pet dog. and that dog loved that couple very much likewise the couple also pampered and loved that dog very much actually that poor couple don't have any kids so they considered this dog as their own child so they pampered that dog very much and that poor old man was a rice farmer and he fed all the living things he showed his kindness to all the living things in the world and he also fed all the birds animals in that near that rice field he used to fed all the animals and birds in a good way one day when the rice farmer was working in the field in his rice field the dog drew his attention to a particular spot and the dog was saying to the rice farmer that please please follow me and the rice farmer followed the dog and when they reached a particular position the dog started digging with his paws at that ground the dog started digging then the farmer took one of his weapon and he started digging that place then at that time something was shining there and what was that yes that was a pile of gold that was a treasure and by getting the treasure the by getting the pile of gold the poor japanese couple was really happy and they are rich and they decided to celebrate their new wealth they invited all their friends neighbors to their house for a feast and at the same time they pampered the dog like their own child and they also gave a great treat to their neighbors and friends too then at the same time in the same village near the japanese couple a wit the couple lived near them and by hearing about this dog about this treasure they are really greedy they were really greedy and they decided to get that dog and they also thought that yes we also need that treasure then one day when they saw the dog outside they forcefully dragged the dog to their house and after some time they went outside then when they reached a particular place the dog started again digging in the ground then that with the couple was really happy the with the couple was actually digging the land hoping to find the treasure there but instead instead of a treasure they found the skeleton of a kitten there then the wicked couple was really angry towards the dog you were making us fool then at that particular time itself the wicked couple killed the dog door and after that they buried the dog under a pine tree then by hearing the death news of this dog the poor old couple the japanese couple that means that rice farmer and his wife were really sad by hearing the death news of their loving dog and they are really sad and at that night the dog appeared in the rice farmer's dream and the dog told to the rice farmer that you must cut down that pine tree and you have to make a bowl and a mill with that hand mill using that wood next day itself the farmer did so actually that hand mill had some kind of specialty that was when we put some rice in that hand mill and after few minutes the rice turns into gold coins then again the poor old couple became little more rich then the whole world came to know about their richness and again the wicked couple hear about heard about the richness and about the hand mill then they decided to borrow the hand mill from the japanese couple that means the rice farmer and his wife then again they borrowed that hand mill then after that 
they decided to do as like the rice farmer do then they put some rice in that hand mill but after some time that turns to some kind of worms then they were really angry and the wicked couple burned that made they yeah. made that wooden hand mill and they cut into different pieces and they made that as firewood then again by hearing this the farmer was really sad then again at that night the spirit of the dog talked to that rice farmer and the dog told him in his dream that actually that actually that wicked couple burned your hand mill and they made they cut that into different pieces and they made that as their firewood and what you have to do is you have to take the ashes of that firewood you have to take the ashes of that firewood and you have to put it in the withered trees withered means dry trees and that is winter season there is no any leaves and no any blooming there then the dog the spirit of the dog called to the farmer that you have to take the ashes of that uh, firewoods and you have to so you have to put like this in the trees then again the trees will bloom then the farmer the poor farmer did like that next day he collected some of the ashes from that wicked couple and he put it in the trees then the trees started blooming and coming days are very important in that village and the main lords used it to procession through that ways and one day a lord was passing through that the procession was going through the lord so particularly in one particular place specific trees were blooming there then by seeing that the lord was really surprised what was happening here only this tree was blooming here what's the reason then the lord heard about the story of the poor couple about the story of the dog and about the story of that spirit of dog then by hearing that by hearing the truthfulness of that poor couple that rice farmer and his wife the lord gave the many gift he presented many gift by hearing their truthfulness then again the wicked couple heard about this then they also decided to take some ashes and put in put in their trees then at that particular time also the procession was going on there then the wicked couple that wicked couple that man was on the tree and at that particular time also the wicked couple that man was putting some ashes on his tree and the procession was going on there then he was putting that ashes in all his trees then that ash has spread all the places and all the people who were standing at that place started sneezing and they were really irritated because of this ashes then by seeing this the one of the bodyguard of that lord killed that wicked couple thus the wicked old man died and the, thus the wicked old man died there and the rice farmer and his wife lived happily ever after this is a story the ashes that made trees bloom so now from this title it's clear about the story the ashes that made the trees bloom so because of that ashes that all trees is, all trees so because of that ashes because of that firewood's ashes the all trees started blooming okay so this title is very apt to this story So now we can say that the title is very apt to the story. Hope this is clear. So let's continue the story in the next class. Thank you.